Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Marissa and you're watching Life After the Fontan. If you're new here, I'm a 25 year old documenting my life living with complex congenital heart disease. And if you're returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Alive Core Cardio Mobile 6 lead personal EKG device, which is the only FDA cleared personal EKG device to be used at home. <music> Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that notification bell if you'd like to be one of the first to watch my upcoming videos. Also remember to check out my other social media pages including Facebook and Instagram. I want to state early on in this video that I am not sponsored by AliveCore, I am not sponsoring AliveCore, it's just a device that I bought about a year ago now, and I figured it was time to discuss the pros and cons that I found, what exactly it is, how it works, and whether or not I would buy it again. Another important thing to share is that if you are here and you have no idea what congenital heart disease means and you don't know why you found my video when I'm talking about the Fontan, no worries. The AliveCore Cardio Mobile 6 lead personal EKG device is helpful for any form of cardiac patients, whether congenital or acquired, and we'll talk about that later on. So in order to talk about this personal EKG device, we kind of need to cover what an EKG actually is. So an EKG is when the healthcare provider hooks up all of those really small, sticky stickers um, across your chest, maybe uh, lower on your chest, maybe one on each arm, one on each leg, and then connects some wires to them, presses a button on their machine, and it prints out a pink piece of paper with a bunch of black squiggly lines going across it. That's an EKG, an electrocardiogram, or an ECG. An electrocardiogram shows your heart's rhythm, the electrical activity that's occurring in your heart. And when you have all of those stickers and wires connected to you, you usually are having either a 10 or a 12 lead EKG, maybe more, maybe less. That is able to diagnose abnormal heart rhythm such as atrial fibrillation or ectopic beats such as premature ventricular contractions or premature atrial contractions. It can also show if a patient has had a previous myocardial infarction or a heart attack. So as a CHD patient and also a healthcare provider, a registered nurse, I've had tons and tons of tons of EKGs completed on myself within my lifetime. However, I've also probably completed even more EKGs on my patients over the past few years from working as a nursing assistant and now a registered nurse. So now that we've reviewed what an EKG is, how exactly can you take one at home? So the Cardia Mobile 6 lead device comes in a little pouch such as this one. This is what it looks like on the front and here's what it looks like on the back. So there's two metal squares on the front where your thumbs would sit and a square on the back that you would actually place above your left knee or left ankle. Now this gives us a six lead EKG. If you only wanted to do a one lead EKG, which does not give quite as much information as a six, you would just use both thumbs on the front and would not place this on your knee or ankle. Later on in this video, I'm going to show you a screen capture of me completing an EKG on myself, and I'll talk you through this process as well. So this device could be helpful for somebody who may be experiencing palpitations at home, or maybe ruling out something as atrial fibrillation or something along those lines. The great thing about the Cardio Mobile EKG device is that it has a monthly or a yearly membership fee. This feature is called Cardia Care and it allows you to obtain extra utilization from your device I should say. There are more options available if you pay for this Cardia Care. By looking at their website there are monthly plans, one-year plans, two-year plans, and you're also able to skip the membership altogether. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, you're watching TV, you're sitting at home, you buy this device, right? A few weeks ago, maybe your cardiologist recommended it because you're concerned about atrial fibrillation, SVT, something along those lines. And you start feeling those weird beats in your heart and you take a EKG from your couch using your two thumbs and then your left knee or left ankle. EKG will read for about 30 seconds, so it's a very quick process. 
It's compatible with most smartphones. So the EKG will actually transmit over to your phone via the Cardia app. And then that EKG will automatically detect six different heart arrhythmias. This includes atrial fibrillation, sinus bradycardia, sinus tachycardia, premature ventricular contractions, sinus rhythm with wide QRS, and sinus rhythm with SVE. Again, that feature is only available to those who pay for the CardioCare membership. I do, but we'll talk about that later on. Now then, your EKG is then able to be reviewed by a cardiologist if you have this membership. Additionally, you are able to save your EKG and share it with a friend, family member, or healthcare provider if you would like to send it to your own care team to review your EKG. Other features of the app include a blood pressure log, I believe there's a medication log, and just a few other things so that way it's not just somewhere that you store your EKGs. I believe you're also able to leave notes after recording your EKG to say, hey, this is how I was feeling, this is what happened, etc. So now that we've reviewed what an EKG is and how this works, let me show you um, my own personal EKG that I'm going to take with this. Okay, so we're gonna start out here in the Cardia app. You can see on the home screen, this is where you record your EKGs. You can also record your blood pressure and weight and see your EKG history. Into the care tab, the third tab on the bottom, this is where you're able to add a caregiver and share these findings with either a family or friend or your physician. So I'm going to click this record your EKG button And then I have the device in my uh, left and right hand. I have my thumbs on the two top sensors and my left near ankle on the bottom sensor. Now I ensured that I selected a six lead EKG here, but you can do a one lead. When this first starts off, it always looks a little um, wiggly, I guess we can say, for the first screen or two, but then by the time that you're very still, you're not talking, and you let this do its job, it's able to capture really a pretty good EKG. So you can see there's six lines, hence the six lead EKG. This is gonna last for about 30 seconds. And you can see that it states I'm using advanced determinations, which is what we discussed where when you have the cardiac care membership, you're able to have those advanced determinations for those six heart arrhythmias. I'm now scrolling through my EKG results, just taking a look. Now keep in mind my EKG does look a little abnormal to begin with. And then you have options to download a PDF, notify your friends or family, send it to a clinician for review. You should hear back within 24 hours. And then again, you can view your EKG history. So that's really it. So personally, when considering the pros and cons of this device, I do find it to be really helpful to have an EKG in the moment, the exact time that you're feeling something. With that being said, I am a cardiac nurse, and as mentioned, I've completed many EKGs in the past on my patients meaning I know how to interpret these EKGs. So when I complete it on myself, I can read it and see if it looks okay or see if I need to call my cardiologist and have further discussions. I have in the past completed an EKG, saved it, and then sent it to my cardiologist just so that way they could have a baseline from it as well. But for somebody who is not able to interpret EKGs, that ability that I have may not come in quite as handy. Though there is still the option to have a board certified cardiologist read your EKG and interpret the results with the Cardia Care plan. Another pro for this is that it's very small. It fits into almost the palm of my hand. It's pretty skinny each way. Um, it comes in this little pouch that I keep it in or else I would lose it. And then I have another uh, little carrying case for it. And I also keep my loop recorder patient monitor in here. If you have not yet checked out my loop recorder video, you can do that now. And that brings up a great point. Why do I have a loop recorder and a personal EKG device? So basically with the loop recorder, it's also able to monitor my heart rhythm, but I like to see it in real time. Maybe I'm just impatient, but I like to see my own EKG. And I bought it on Black Friday last year when it was on sale. So 
That is one other pro that I forgot to mention. There's no sticky adhesives. There's no wires that get tangled when you're trying to sleep, like with a halter monitor. And the best thing for me, there's no allergic reaction to the adhesives. Another pro to this is that I've been able to compare my uh, Cardiomobile EKG reading with one in a hospital with a 12 lead EKG. And while the six lead EKG does not give as much information, they do look really similar. And I've been surprised with how accurate the EKG reading actually is just through this little device going onto your phone. Now, some cons for this. I do find that sometimes when I place this sensor on either my left knee or ankle, it doesn't always register that it sees my knee or ankle. And I found that this kind of incurs when your skin is on the drier side. So a lot of times I'll just put on some lotion or something like that. And then I, I guess that helps with it adhering to the skin or reading the electrical activity. And I've had no problems after doing that. Another con that I see with this is that if I am driving or at work or at the store or something along those lines, it's not very convenient and not always possible to stick this on my knee or ankle for 30 seconds. There is always the option to complete the one lead EKG without the sensor on the back, just the two on the front, but then it's not as much information as you would gain with a six lead. However, in the moment, if there's really something going on that you would like to see, you still have the option to get that one lead EKG. And if I'm personally experiencing something at work or somewhere else, I'll make sure I'm able to get a reading fairly soon. So that's really all that I have for you for this AliveCore Cardio Mobile device. I, I personally really do like it and I think that I would buy it again. I have to understand that my perception may be skewed because I can interpret EKGs, but at the same time, even if I couldn't, there, it's still very easy to send it straight over to my cardiologist or one of their cardiologists for an interpretation. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this video allows you to help learn what this LiveCore Cardio Mobile device could do for you and whether or not it would be a great purchase for you.